Hi everyone, I'm Paul with Madcap Software. In this video, I'm going to talk about markers in Madcap Flare, specifically in the XML editor. They are, markers are these little objects and things that you're going to see in the editor as you work and do certain things. They just kind of are there. And uh, when you first get started with Flare, you might be wondering, well, what are, what are these things all about? And uh, it's that's what we're going to talk about in this video. We're going to get into Flare. I'll show you what some of the different markers are. Actually, there are markers that are used for all kinds of things, and I'm not going to cover everything. So I'll actually um, just put an image right here so you can see that there are uh, all kinds of elements, all kinds of things that you can add into uh, a flare topic or a flare content file. And depending on what it is, the marker is just going to look different. So you kind of get an idea from this image of what these different things are. But let's hop into flare and let's actually see this in action and some of the things that you can do with markers. So in this topic that I have open, you already are seeing some markers. Uh, for example, right here, I've got this paragraph uh, and it's sort of designed to have this bar next to it, which is just a style element. And I've got note in bold. And then I've got this paragraph, this uh, sentence right here, this just in normal text. And the bold part, this note has these brackets around it. All right, so something's going on there. Those, that's one example of a marker, right? And it really represents this span tag this span tag and um, this particular span is set so that this has got some bold text. So it's set up, it's different from the rest of the paragraph. And that's why you see that. Now you come down here, Austin city limits, something else is going on here. We see some brackets around this first text and then you see this extra down arrow. And if you look all the way over here on the right, you see this bracket that goes all the way down to here. All right, and uh, you're wondering, well, okay, what is that? Well, if you hover over the structure bars to the left, you can see that's a drop down. It's a drop down effect. And all of these are markers that let you know what's going on. This is the hot spot for a marker. And this is the entire marker area that's within this bracket. Okay. And uh, there are lots of other ones. Some of the more common ones are things like um, index keywords. So I'm gonna select right, right there on the heading. I'm gonna select view. You can insert index keywords and concept keywords too. Those concept keywords are similar. And so if I want to just create a, uh, an index keyword, call it drop down, type it in there, press enter. All right, I get this kind of green bar right here. And if I had inserted a concept um, term in here, it would be similar to this, just a slightly different color. But now, all right, something's going on here. Now, you're in the output, you're not going to see this green bar. You're not going to see these brackets. You're not going to see any of these what are called markers. It's just to let you know something's happening here. You got, you got an index keyword here. You've got a span tag here, all these things. All right, well, what are some of the other things that you might see? Well, variables. Variables are very common. I'm just going to, uh, whoops, this in the project organizer. I'm just going to drag one over here. Let's just, let's just do a website. Let's drag that over there. And because of the space, I'm just going to, actually, let's get rid of this uh, index window pane since we're not using it anymore. And we can see, oh, that's what a variable looks like. It's got the brackets and you see that kind of highlighted thing there. All right, a variable. Uh, what else? Uh, so snippet conditions are kind of unique. Now, maybe you're familiar with snippets, but not snippet conditions. And I could create a snippet from this right here. And then I could go in here, right click, snippet conditions. And I'm just picking something in here without really any, any purpose. Um, other than to show you this thing. I, so I created a snippet. Now snippet is another thing that has uh, markers. It's got these brackets around it. And I know it's a snippet because I can't click in it and edit. 
But because this is a snippet condition, if this was just a regular snippet, that's all I would see is the brackets around it, and that's it. But now I get this little icon here, uh, which is showing me I've got a condition that's placed on this snippet here. It says snippet condition. So that's another kind of marker in there. Uh, something else that you might have, let's go all the way to the very bottom of this, and we could insert a, um, a, a related topics link or a see also link, a concept link. I don't think I don't have any concepts in there, but let's do related topics. And I could just click a couple of these things here. So it's going to be this button in the output. And this has related topics. And this is a marker that's kind of representing that. That's a marker. All right. So things like that. Or a script. You could insert a script into a, um, into a topic. Let's see. Insert. And it's way over here. And, uh, you know, you pick your script language. And I'm just going to type nonsense in there. Click OK. And this little thing represents a script. Yeah, you're not going to see this little icon in the output. This is just where that script is going. I'm going to undo that one. All right. So, yeah, there's lots and lots of different uh, kinds of markers that you might see as you're working. Now, if you want to turn these on or off, you would do so from the local toolbar right here. So the main thing to the main option to turn these on and off is right here. Markers. Do that, and it's gone. I don't see that index keyword. I don't see the brackets around that. I am seeing something here. I'm going to come back to that, but I'm not seeing these other things because I just generally turned markers off. And uh, I also, let me go to um, another topic. Actually, I'm not gonna go to another topic. I'm just gonna, going to deal with this one right here. Notice this, this marker is what's called an inline marker. It's in line with this block of text. And so it's sort of different than the others. And I could decide to keep these other markers on, but turn off the inline markers. So I could click there and select inline markers. So now I'm not seeing it there, but I'm still seeing my index keyword. I'm still seeing the drop down markers. So that's another way that you can sort of uh, control what you're seeing here. And let's just kind of work our way down on this and you get down to variable names, variable highlighting. So I could decide, hey, I wanna turn markers off in general, but maybe I just love variables and I've got variables all over the place. So I still wanna see those. Well, you could tell it to turn on variable highlighting. See, if I turn that off, it just kind of looks like most other things except for those brackets. And if I turn markers off, I'm not, I, I really can't tell that that's a variable. It could be just regular text. But even though I have markers off here, I could say, show me the highlighting. And I can still tell that's a variable. The other thing, I'm going to turn markers back on here. The other thing you can do with variables in here is you could select variable names. So not only do you see the variable definition, which in this case is a Madcap Software um, link, the URL, but the name of the variable is website. So over here, it's this thing right here. So you can control it that way. And then there are a few other things, bookmark names, named elements, which are um, in, in a way similar. So let me just insert a bookmark here, insert bookmark, and we'll just call it Austin. So if you like wanted to link to a specific place in a topic, you could put a bookmark there and then link to that specific location. Well, this is telling me there's a bookmark right here. And so what I could do, and it's telling me the name of the bookmark is Austin, but maybe I don't wanna see the name. Maybe I just want to see this little flag. That's enough for me. So I could turn off the name. So there's different ways that you can manipulate these. And the final one I wanna show you is this down here at the bottom, marker width, okay? Uh, notice that I can't really tell what this index keyword is unless I hover over it and it tells me, oh, it's drop down. If I wanted to give a little bit more space to this or less space, I could change the marker width. So select that. Right now it's set to show 100 pixels. So if I change it to 200, click OK, now I can see the whole thing. All right. 
So I didn't show you everything about markers, but the main things, and I think you get the idea. There's all kinds of markers that you might see depending on the situation. You can turn them off, turn them off, whatever you want to do. But I felt like this video was important because you're going to see these things. And if you don't understand that these are markers, you might just kind of be editing away in confusion. And nobody wants that. Thank you for watching this video. We'll talk to you next time.